Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Just making sure my thing is recording. I'm in like a totally different spot here today. Um, uh, I'm excited because just like about half an hour ago on my porch appeared this box. So I am so excited. Um, about a month ago, I uploaded a unboxing from Jane Davenport um, of her, some of her new mixed media line. And I was really excited to get all that stuff. And I've been playing with it for the last month. And actually I took the box right over to a friend of mine's house and we all got together and we played with crafty stuff that night. It was so much fun. And um, then Jane said, by the way, there's another box coming. So um, I've been kind of like stalking the mailman for the past month. And um, it's actually been a couple, it's been a kind of a couple rough months for me the last couple of months. Um, I try to keep it all sunshine and rainbows here because that's what you tune in for and that's what I want to put out in the world but it's been it's been kind of rough everything's fine but uh, but this has been all this has kind of been something I've been looking forward to kind of like a little a little beacon of a of like hope I don't know that sounds awful it's nothing everything's fine um, so anyway I've been just really excited to um, to get some really great news this week and also to see this on my porch this morning so um, I'll show you some of the things that I did with the first box that I received by the way this is an unboxing video Video. If you don't like unboxing videos, um, you don't have to watch it. Um, Jane sent me this stuff. I very, very generously. Um, this is not a sponsored video. I do appreciate it so much, and I'm here to gonna show you what what's coming up from her, and um, and just kind of show you what she sent me. So, um, so I just want to put that out there. If that sort of thing rubs you the wrong way, then this is probably not the video for you. So um, the first thing, I, one of the first things I did with her products last time was I used her um, decoupage napkins. Um, um, or serviettes to do the background here. I used um, some gesso in her dauber bottles. So far they're holding up. I'm not sure how long they're, and I've been using the matte medium in one of those dauber bottles. So, you know, I kind of want to use them for a couple months before I recommend other people do it just in case it clogs or the tips break apart. But so far so good, uh, very handy. And I used her mermaid markers, paint over pens, um, different stuff there to do that page. I really had a lot of fun doing that. And the first night I got the stuff I, when I was crafting with my friends. Uh, we did this with little tissue shapes and um, rub-ons. I used a rub-on uh, or a journal tattoo there as well. Um, but you know, just, just fun, fun stuff to play with. Everything um, is high quality and I've really just been enjoying it. And in fact, um, her inks, I want to mention this because I broke down last night and bought a really cheap fountain pen and I was trying out the fountain pen with the, um, with the, ink that came in it and it was like scratchy and nasty and the ink wouldn't flow and then I like shook it and then it just spurted everywhere and it was a nightmare and I was about to take it back to the store and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna take it home and try it with the inks because I was doing this in my car because I have like zero patience and um and so I, I rinsed it out cleaned it out put Jane's ink in there and it it just it writes like silk now and I'm like the ink so if you have a crappy fountain pen at home try these inks in it because it could be the salvation. It's a, they're, they're standard size. So um, uh, they, I never was able to get her pen because they were always sold out. I don't live near a Michaels and that's the company that carries her line or you can find them on her website. Um, and I don't live near one. So I've only been to one twice since her stuff came out and they were sold out both times. So, um, so that was really good news. Um, so without further ado, I did also use her inks. I wanted to show you she has some bottled inks and I want to smell my journal for a second because, oh, I did that too with her stuff. Um, because she has these scented inks that, um, but the, the smell, it doesn't stay. The smell, it smells when you're, when you're creating with them and it smells lovely, kind of like the Mr. Sketchies markers, but a little bit more sophisticated, like sophisticated Mr. Sketchies. Um, but but they don't smell once they're dry. So if you're worried about doing artwork with it and, or like coloring a card with it and then sending it to a friend and you're worried that their allergies might kick up because of the scent. Um, I mean, I can't say for sure about anybody's allergies, but they don't smell anymore once they're dry. So that was in a closed journal too. So I would think if there was going to be any residual odor, it would still be in there, but no, they're just smell nice when you're using them, I guess. So without further ado, I haven't even opened this. I'm like dying. I've got to open this. I'm going to get my knife, open this, and we will look at it together. I'm going to change my camera view so you can look in the box because or you can see everything individually as I take it out because I did, um, I did get that uh, suggestion from a couple of you that you wished it was like kind of a bird's eye view. So I want you to be able to see the good stuff um, really well. So I'm gonna go over to the table and kind of show you what's in the box. It's so exciting. 
Okay, I did want to show you the cheap pen in question with the Jane inks. Writes like silk. This was like a scratchy mess that was like bleeding ink before. So I'm just so excited that I was able to use them. So very exciting. Um, so if you have a crappy old fountain pen that never really worked right, give it a try with those inks. It just, for whatever reason, they seem to flow really well. So I'm going to open this box up here. Haven't even looked in it. So exciting. Okay. All right, we're opening it together. You're seeing it as I am. This is exciting. Maybe I should, maybe I should, uh, should wait. I, don't know. I can't wait. Okay. <gasps> I see watercolors. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna set it. Yeah, I'm gonna set it down. I'll bring my chair over so I don't have to. It's all right. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is what I've been so excited about. I'm gonna try to do it upside down so that because I have the camera kind of upside down. Let me zoom in a little bit. My goodness, we don't need to. There we go. That's a little better. I'm not at my normal, so I'm still on a tripod, but I'm at a different spot at my desk because my main spot has my oil painting stuff still out from yesterday. Um, oh my gosh, look at that color. It's gorgeous. Darker teal than the Aqua palette before. This is the C Glitz C palette, and you've got a little illustration there, and oh, this, you know what? I feel like this is more like a watercolor paper than previously. I thought the other one was a little glossier. This is nice and matte, so I think that's going to give you a better swatch, and you've got all your little inks in here, and I wanted to share something because a lot of people mentioned this, so let's just un wrap this one together. Um, so some people had said like, or I've seen people, they put like, um, they'll put like poster putty or something in the, and these are extruded pans instead of poured pans, which I actually like better because they seem like they go further. Um, so some people have been putting like blue tack or poster putty or magnets on the bottom of their pans to keep them in the, in the pan. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is after you want to wrap all of these, what you want to do is push in these little, this comes out, you push in these little fingers, see all these little tabs, push them in a little bit. And then see that rail, that other little piece sticking up. What you do is you put the, um, you put the pan in there at an angle. So it's up against that rail and then you just snap it down and look, that holds it. Okay, you do not need blue tack, you don't need poster putty, you don't need magnets, you just need to push these little fingers in. Um, so, so do that and save yourself a little hassle and that's gonna keep them from dancing around while you're trying to paint because I know that's kind of frustrating. Oh yay, I'm so excited because I was like, oh, I'm never gonna be able to find those because I live so far away from a store and yay. Okay, oh, these are pretty. This is um, a new set of stamps. It almost looks like a little bit of like a, a paisley or Indian design and you get a couple eyeballs and a border. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, I got the paint. I, I don't have any of her acrylics, but I did get a chance to use some because my friend uh, Cindy had some and I used some on that um, journal page with a girl with a crown on uh, and they were really nice and they didn't aggravate me like a lot of acrylics do because they're matte I think maybe and it just feels a little bit more like painting with gouache so there are metallics and there are some uh, more neutrals kind of like skin tones so that's fun oh yay um oh my goodness oh it's a little thing of pastels and a little um it's like a little lipstick applicator thing. I saw her actually show these on her, um, I was either on her YouTube or her Facebook Live, and I just thought they were so adorable. Look at that little tin. Let's open it up. Let's take a look here. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. See, I'm so excited about media. I'm much more excited about media than, um, than the paper stuff. I love that too, um, but it's definitely like the art media that that like gets me all excited. Um, so there's, these look like rub-ons, little lip rub-ons. And there's a little palette here with a little palette, like a little piece of plastic to protect it. And it looks like they're kind of like shimmery, almost like, oh, they're creamy. They're like a rub-on. These are really great if you're like embossed, like use an embossing folder and then you use your finger or a little applicator. And it looks like there's replacement tips. Yeah, replacement tips with a little applicator. And you rub it on an excuse me, I'm so excited. Um, you rub it on like a uh, embossed um, panel, like black. Oh, oh, emboss some black cardstock and then rub this on there. It's so pretty. It just like highlights it like the little spiders. That, oh, let me show you like this. I did yesterday, the other day. Um, you would like rub, let's try some actually. Why don't we do that? Let's see if that a whirl here. Let's try this. Let's try a lighter color. Let's try this, this creamy color. I'm using my fingers cause, um, Cause I don't have, oh, I'm gonna try the applicator cause I don't think I got that much on my finger. 
Oh, let's try this. It's like a little sponge. Oh yeah, because I can see that it's on the sponge. I wasn't getting very much on my finger. Oh yeah. Now if I had, I already had some uh, gelato on there, but if it was just plain paper, you'd see it a lot more. Um, so that's kind of cool. I wish I had some, uh, some just embossed cardstock right here ready to go, but I wasn't, uh, I wasn't planning on it. So that's kind of cool. And you got a little, little swatch on there. We could try that actually. I hope we can get through this, all this stuff in here. Let's try that. Let's do a little, um, let's get the right color. I think this is smooch. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so nice for just like rouging in lips or cheeks on a on a art journal face because you can do such a subtle job, you, do, you know, where it could be difficult to do that with watercolors or um, or paint because you get too much and it's hard to make it soft and blend. This is gonna be like putting make literally putting makeup on our journal pages. Look at the size of that little tin. When it's empty, you could use it for like a watercolor palette or anything. It's so adorable. I don't wanna lose my little applicators. I'll probably put those with my blending supplies. Um, oh, look at this. This is, um, this is the powdery one in brighter colors. It's so pretty. This is the chalkier one, but it looks like the same, um, the same tips and the same, um, the same tin, just a different pattern on it. And you've got the chalkier one. So that's also going to be really nice for adding a little highlight on your journal faces. So that's, oh, oh my gosh. I forgot that these came out. These are the, um, watercolor crayons, the aqua pastels. Oh my gosh. I have to open this. We have to look inside. This is exciting. See, this, the media is what like totally, totally gets me excited. Oh, look at the watercolor crayons. Oh, these are going to be like one of the first things I use for sure. A great mix of colors, great mix of brights, which means it's always easier to dull down a color. So if you have all these brights, you can mix the color you want, add more water to it to dull it down or add an opposite. Like if I, if I wanted to use green, but the green was too vibrant, I can add a little red or orange or yellow to it and get just the shade that I want. You can't do that with neutral, more neutral colors because you can't make them brighter, but with bright colors, you can always make them duller. So I'm really excited about that. That's also, I think, going to be nice for, um, for doing, for doing layering too, like over stuff. And I'm like rubbing my finger on it. I'm getting a little media there. You can't really see too much, but Oh, I can't wait to play with those and get a little bit on my finger there. Oh, that's exciting. I'm really excited about that. I forgot about these. And look, the tins are so flipping cute. I can't even stand it. The tins are so adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was exciting. What is this? Glitz C Sparkle Markers? I don't even know what this is. I haven't seen this yet. Let me see. Let's get this out. This is so funny because like um, <laughs> on the other side of my studio is actually my <laughs> my son's bedroom and he's got friends sleeping over. So he probably thinks that I'm a lunatic. They're probably all like, what is wrong with your mother? She is acting crazy. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Look, they're like a, <gasps> look how sparkly that is. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my gosh. So if you wanted like the sparkles, like in the new mermaid markers, but you didn't want the, you know, the liquid mess, this is, oh, and it, it smells a little bit. <sighs> It smells kind of, it smells kind of like the, it doesn't have much of an odor. I have to really sniff it to smell it, but it kind of has a little bit of a like, um, and I don't have to shake it. It does have a shaky in it, but, oh, I think I got that on my nose. Um, oh, look at that. It's so bright and sparkly and it's going to have a little more control than the mermaid markers. These are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I haven't even shaken them yet. Oh, wow. Those are outstanding. They kind of remind me back in like the eighties, Avon had these, um, nail polish pens. That's kind of what they smell like a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just very, it's very light though. It's not as stinky as like a Krylon pen if you ever use those, but holy moly, these would be great for Halloween. They're probably not skin safe. They probably got like that, that California warning on the package. So don't use it on your skin. I'm going to wash my hands afterwards, but, um, look how bright that is. That is fantastic. Those are called, um, cool oceans. Five Glitz C Sparkle Markers. These will go good, nice over the watercolors too to add little, uh, little to sparkle because I don't think all the watercolors are sparkly. I think that, I think two of the colors are sparkly, but I don't think they're all sparkly there. I'm not sure. Um, you will find out because I will be playing them with them shortly. These are fantastic. Oh my gosh, I never even saw them. Oh, did you send me a pen? Oh yeah, a good pen. A good pen. I gotta get that in camera. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh no, this is great. That thing right there, that's fantastic. I have a, I have an expensive fountain pen. I found it when I KonMari'd my room 
and I cleaned it up and I got it working. And I thought, well, this is great. I'm going to put it someplace safe so I don't lose it so I can always find it. I'm going to put it someplace precious so I'll, I forgot where I put it. I can't find it. So this is awesome because I've got the thing where I can use, I have a, a waterproof fountain pen ink because um, you don't want, just want to use any waterproof ink with fountain pens because they can clog, but I have a waterproof fountain pen ink so I'll be able to use it with that. It does come with the three um, cartridges and then she just released these colored ones which I told you I used in my uh, really cheap crappy pen which actually worked well with her inks in it. Um, so this is so exciting. That's such a pretty design. I can feel the weight of it. It feels nicer than the um, than the, the cheap crappy pen that I got just to get me by. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, it's got a nice weight to it. Look at that. Yeah, it's got a nice weight to it empty, which is nice. It just feels a little better quality. And I love the golden white. I think that's such a, it's going to be a mess before I'm done with it probably, but I think it looks just fantastic. Um, so, oh, I'm so excited because man, that was my unicorn. I couldn't, couldn't find this. Um, when I was looking for it earlier, that was one of my must have items and I just couldn't find it. Um, water brush is cool. I do have or ink brushes. Well, I guess you can use them for water or ink. So that you can use with the inks and the dropper bottles, which you can also refill the mermaid markers with those, uh, Jane said. So that's kind of exciting. These are fine line bottles. Oh, that's neat. I wonder if they're for ink or if I could use masking fluid. It's a use with your incredible inks. Oh, that's like, I guess if you wanted to draw, especially if you want to do a lot of drawing with it, it would be cool if I could do a masking fluid in there too. I might have to experiment with one of them. I like to, because like you guys know, I'm getting this stuff for free. Jane very generously sent this to me. I would much rather experiment with mine before you go and spend the money on it to make sure it works. I, I just, I hate it when, so, when, I, when somebody tries something and it ruins something that they have. Um, not that I want to ruin any of this because it's so flipping awesome, but I would much, I don't want anyone else to, Oh, there's more. There's more sparkly markers. Oh my, I feel like it's Christmas. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. It's like a, it's like pre-Halloween. Halloween's in a couple days. Look at these. So they all, so I wonder if these are kind of like the Krylon markers, but they're just glittery sparkles instead of metallic tones. This, these, I think, I didn't even know these existed and I'm the most excited. But look, these are dry and they're still so sparkly and shiny and glossy. These are unreal. I mean, because I've had sparkly markers before, um, like you know, get at the office supply store, and they're okay, but they never like knock your socks off bright like this. So you've got cool and warm shades. How did I not even know these were coming out? I've been like stalking Jane on her Facebook page and YouTube channel <laughs> since, since like January, because I'm so excited about her stuff. Did I do this one twice? Oh, one's a warm yellow, one's a cool yellow. That is so nice. I honestly think I would use these more than the mermaid markers with the glitzy ones because when you're doing the glit, like when you mix the glitzy ones, like it dilutes the glitz. So like I could paint everything the colors I wanted and then I could go in with just like an overlay here and there of the metallic. So it really shows up like on top instead of it getting buried under other media. Um, I think, and it smells like they might be a solvent base. So I think that they probably wouldn't disturb watercolor underneath. So I think this is going to be just fantastic for mixed media when you're going on top of your like watercolor and water media, maybe even on top of acrylic paints. Sometimes stuff that has a solvent in it will bother your acrylic paints, but definitely would go good over watercolors, I think. And we've got one more thing in here, which, oh, neat. It's more collage papers. And to be honest, I've used the tissue, like the napkin ones. Um, and I really like them, but I haven't used the, um, the tissuey collage papers yet. I think probably it's because they're such big sheets. So it seems like a, uh, like a, like a big production to get them out. But, um, I think what I'm going to do is actually take one sheet from each set and cut it down because actually I just have this set and another set. I think that would be more useful for me, or maybe like slice it into, um, strips, almost like a washi tape because it'll be a little less intimidating. So if you do get supplies and you're like, oh, I just don't know what to do with it. It's kind of intimidating. This is four sheets. So you don't have to feel like you can still hoard three sheets and you can take one sheet out and the struggle is real, isn't it? You could, you could buy the set. You would split it with, with a couple of your friends, keep one sheet to hoard, cut one sheet, and then, you know, that's how you can get, that's how, that's what you do when you are a craft supply hoarder. I'm trying to be better, but I mean, seriously, this stuff is so cute. I cannot even, I, it's, it's unreal. I'm going to just look at you for a second. Hi. Yeah. I don't know if I have good lighting here. Hello. It's an extreme close up. Oh, that's scary. Um, so yes, uh, I want to thank Jane for sending this stuff. Obviously uh, it was very generous. Um, those, oh, 
markers are so exciting to me. Um, I just, they spark, I move my hand, they're just so sparkly. And usually like the sparkly things, you have to be on dark colors to, um, to see them. And I am like as pale as it gets and they show up just great. So yay. Thank you so much, Jane. If you guys have any requests of what you'd like me to use first, let me know in the comments below. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.